October marks the beginning of the spooky season, as it's often referred to. Gaming is the perfect space to indulge in all things dark and scary. Personally, I like to go a bit more atmospheric, and the Diablo series is perfect for enjoying the colder, darker nights of the season. Back in 2021, we got Diablo 2 Resurrected, a complete remaster of Diablo 2 and its expansion, Lord of Destruction. It was quite an endeavor, as originally Blizzard thought they wouldn't be able to remaster it due to a loss of the game's source code and corruption in their backup system. Fortunately for us, they were able to take what was available and do some reverse engineering magic. It helped that the talented folks at Vicarious Visions were spearheading the effort. It seemed like it was no small feat. Over 20 years after its initial release, we've got a remaster of what I consider to be one of the greatest PC games ever released. I decided that a fresh playthrough was in order. While I bought Diablo 2 Resurrected shortly after it came out, I haven't gotten around to playing it. I think a part of me was worried that it wasn't going to hold up. I have such fond memories of playing the original, and it was hard to believe that a remaster of a game over 20 years old, even one that I obsessed over, would live up to those nostalgic memories. Well, it does. Better than I had hoped. Playing the game is timeless. A simple loop of killing monsters, collecting loot, and leveling up. Of course, there's more nuance to it, but that's the basic idea. It works. We see it in plenty of modern games like Destiny and Borderlands, and when it's done right, it continues to be entertaining. To keep me playing, though, I need a reason to care. The entire Diablo series takes place in the world of Sanctuary. It's an Earth-like mortal realm, tucked between the heavens and the burning hells. The heavens tend to think they shouldn't intervene in mortal affairs. Well, most of them do. Tyrael is an exception. Hell, on the other hand, well, they want that shit for themselves. They are constantly trying to invade and take over Sanctuary. They crave power and destruction. In Diablo 2, we are trying to prevent the three prime evils from uniting. Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal. There is so much lore in the Diablo series, and I absolutely love it. I've spent many an hour watching lore videos and reading about the history of Sanctuary and even reading the books. This is good old classic evil. Demons, zombies, skeletons, they're all here. It is the perfect game to get in the mood for fall. Well, if you're into the whole gothic evil is a mood that I like, luckily I am. I've just started Act 3 and my paladin is starting to look formidable. I will say that so far the magic hasn't dimmed. Diablo 2 Resurrected is about as faithful as a remaster can get. It has the same pool it did 20 years ago. It looks great, plays great, and the soundtrack is still one of my favorites of all time. If you combine the totals of the original release and Resurrected, you get around 10 to 15 million copies sold. Could be more. But those are soft numbers. Exact totals are kind of hard to come by. That, by all measures, is a big success. Yet there are hundreds of millions of consoles and gaming PCs out there. There are far more gamers out there who haven't even touched a Diablo game. I feel like there are quite a few gamers out there that would really enjoy the Diablo series if they gave it a chance. If you're looking for something to get into the mood for the colder, spookier months of the year, Diablo 2 Resurrected is a great way to do it. Without the pee-inducing jump scares of many other titles that tend to come out in October. The new expansion for Diablo 4 is upon us, but I would argue it is absolutely worth your time and money to experience the games that came before it if you haven't already. There are a few games that have stood the test of time as well as Diablo 2. If you made it this far into the video, that means you watched until the end. Thanks so much for your support. You are a guiding light against the masses of undead hordes that await me in Sanctuary. Keep carrying that torch, friend. You see all those icons below the video? Clicking or tapping on those really helps a small channel like mine. You'd be helping a middle-aged dad dream of a day where he doesn't have to crunch numbers for a living. Do you know of any hidden gems that you think are amazing and underappreciated? Let me know in the comments and I might make my next video about it. I'm always looking for my next favorite game. Take care of each other, gamers. I'll see you soon.